Hi everybody, Weary Sky from Mobile Tech Asia here, bringing you an unboxing video. Today we have the TCL M3G 3S. Let's get a focus in here. This is a five inch phone. Um, it is uh, 1080p, two gigs of RAM, 16 gig ROM. Um, it supports sort of your typical Chinese phone frequencies. <clears throat> 3G uh, quad band, 2G quad band, um, a handful of FDD, LTE frequencies, 2600 being the one that uh, people in Canada would be concerned about. Um, we've got a little bit of, let's see, bring our focus in here, Whoop. come on phone, camera, you can catch it here, Whoop. Uh, no, no, not quite, um, we've got the uh, operating system on it is Android 5.0, it has a Snapdragon Qualcomm 615 processor, um, a 3050 milliamp hour battery. So, um, typical phone box here, nothing too crazy about it. A um, lot of non English writing on it. The security seal was broken when it arrived. I assume it's so that they could install. Um, Google Play services because Chinese phones in general don't come with them um, and in fact I believe the Chinese government disallows it at the moment um, so let's open her up and have a look <clears throat> so um, the phone itself pretty nice looking it's got uh, no hardware button on the front it's all capacitive. Uh, you can see it there. The back is a nice sort of. Uh, <laughs> you can hear that. It's a uh, textured plastic back. On the right hand side, we've got power, volume. On the top, we've got. Oh, let's get some focus here. Camera, come on. We've got the uh, headphone jack on the top, earphone speaker up there, um, camera is on the right hand side, the light sensor is right there on the top. Um, let me open up the back. <clears throat> What really impressed me about this phone was the huge battery. 3,050 milliamp hours on a five inch phone is actually really impressive. So I'm hoping it turns out to be uh, pretty decent. And so up top here you can see, here let's move the phone back and just zoom in. We've got slots for dual micro sims right here and here. We've got SD card slot right here, flash, um, typical sticker antennas up there, battery, which is it removable? Does not appear to be removable, which is weird when you have a back that opens. Um, then on the bottom we've got what appears to be two speakers, but I've been fooled by this before, and your micro USB slot. Whoop. As we fly out of focus. Let's try and get that back, shall we? Let's zoom it back. But there's not that much else to say about the back here. Um, 
no markings on the back of the phone, at least not in English, to say how many milliamp hours. Just the dual IMEIs. And uh, that's about it. So I will put this case back on. And you can see the TCL logo there as well. So let's set that aside and have a look what's in the box. So we've got your standard IMEI stickers, although it's only one of the IMEIs. Take off this. Okay, we've got a couple different boxes of things in here. Let's open this one up and have a look. In here, not much to see. <laughs> and we have to pull this out and, okay, seriously, someone's playing practical jokes here. Ha. Here we have the micro USB cable. Everything is separately bagged, which is an interesting change. Um, just standard micro USB. Nothing interesting, no crazy branding, nothing like that. Oh, North American power adapter, that's nice. Open that up. And you probably can't read that, and I don't think my camera will be able to focus in, but it's a uh, international power adapter, 100 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, 0 0.3 amps input, and it's uh, 5 volts at 1.5 amps output. So I don't think we have quick charging on this phone. Then that's it for our bits and pieces there. And then I believe this is probably just the manual. Yeah. So here we have the manual. And it is entirely in Chinese. So not much use to me. Um, unless I bust out the Google Translate app on my phone, on my other phone. Um, but if you're fluent in reading Chinese, that will come in handy for you. So that's all there is there for included in the box. Let's put all this stuff away for the moment. And let's turn it on. Um, the version of Android on here, as I mentioned, was Android 5.0, and it is Lewa OS, L-E-W-A, 6.0, which, um, I guess, oh, excuse me, is a custom version of Android, a custom skin on top, which uh, more of these manufacturers like to do. Um, this is TCL. As I mentioned, um, they are also the same company that makes the Alcatel Pop Idol phones in North America. Um, so those are uh, a fairly popular low-end brand here. So let's choose English for my language. I'll skip network selection for now. I don't need to do that. I don't have a SIM card in. I will disable the user experience program as I don't need my phone sending info back on me to a Chinese company that I don't know that much about. All right, so let's start her up. Loading, loading. So I can tell you first off, the screen's quite nice. I'm seeing a good few extra apps in here um, okay so typical of many of these custom Chinese Android skins no app drawer um, which kind of frustrates me a little bit um, they've got a theming app and you'll have to be online to pick multiple themes but you can customize icons lock screen wallpapers desktop wallpapers and lock screen I'm not going to get too much into it right now because I'll have a full review later. 
Oh, and here we have operate mode selection, where you choose left hand mode or right hand mode. So I think I want left hand mode, but I will play with that a bit later. Let's see if I can get this a little bit brighter. Not really. Um, basically, it's just giving a list of menu options on that side and if you switch to right hand mode that list of menu options is on the right hand side so I'm guessing it's just uh, determining which Boop. aha so if you hit the capacitive button and there are light up capacitive buttons can't really see them here The main home button doesn't light up, it's just reflective, but the two capacitive buttons, can't really see them. I'll have to try and get that later. There's four lights on the right side and three lights on the left side. Um, and, bloop. Okay, so setting left-hand mode, I appear to have made the right button bring up this menu, which shows you your open apps, um, current traffic data, alarms, uh, I guess that's battery time remaining, and then a couple shortcut apps. And then, yeah, that made my uh, left button the back button. So I guess I wanna set that in right-hand mode. Um, so just looking at the apps here, installed, um, Tools, you've got a sound recorder, you've got calculator, you've got compass, flashlight, FM radio. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to switch that back button. Uh, you've got a data meter. You've got, let's zoom in. Downloads, updater. Uh, videos, clock, email, play music, just the standard stuff. Momoda, I don't know what that is. Um, I'm going to be removing that, I'm sure. Um, here we've got the standard selection of Google Apps, uh, DC Share, which is a bit of a bloatware app. Magic Photo, don't know what that is. Clean Master, which I dislike. KK Browser, so there's a handful of apps here I'm gonna have to either disable or remove completely if I can. So let's see if I can remove. Hey, all right. Holding down on the app does indeed give me the option to remove. So if I hold down and drag to the top, Oh, system app cannot be uninstalled, so I'm gonna have to disable that, um, which is also fairly standard. It's not too much bloatware, but there's just a handful of little apps here that I don't really want. I don't want DC Share, I don't want Magic Photo, I don't want Clean Master, I don't want KK Browser, um, I don't want Momoda. So, I'll uh, when I get to my review, I will comment on how easy it is or is not to remove those. Um, that aside, we seem to be pretty much done. So, uh, thanks for watching. As always, uh, if you like these videos and you want to see more, please subscribe below and give a thumbs up and please share as well on all your favorite social media platforms. Thanks. Talk to you later.